Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. We're gonna continue with our tutorial on how to make this uh, true scale uh, Mark III Space Marine. This is where we left last time, as you see it right now. Um, I'll do the head last, just uh, put the head right now with blue tack uh, for the moment. And right now I'm putting um, some uh, glue uh, to make sure it is very soft. The uh, the glue that is already dry from the last uh, video we made, the last uh, second part of the tutorial. And uh, I am already put some goo. And I'm going to put right now a little bit of piece of uh, plastic car, as you see, because there's a hole right there in where the, um, the leg meets the hip of the Space Marine. So I want that piece of um, plastic car. So because we're going to put a, a sword, I'm going to put a sword right now. I want to give this guy a sword, so I'm putting more uh, glue, um, Tamiya um, ultra thin plastic goo. Uh, I'm going to put right now this amount, make sure uh, you don't put too much of this goo. And uh, uh, the goo is going to help bond everything uh, on top of the, uh, of the glue that we already put uh, to make sure that the plastic really, really um, bonds with the, with the sword. That is a custom made. Um, um, sword that I made with plastic card. Um, I haven't put a, a, the handle of the sword because you don't really need it. Uh, I already checked and it's gonna go under the, um, the the arm so you won't be able to see it and if we put a handle on the sword it's just gonna get in the way and um, it's gonna make things harder for us. It makes no sense. It impedes the, the, the good pose of the model. And make sure you play with the knife um, to make sure that the sword is in the right position. That is the good thing about this uh, Tamiya plastic uh, cement is it gives you some time to play with. It melts the plastic and um, it does give you some time to play around. Make sure that um, the pieces go uh, where you want to go. Uh, it's looking good. I'm very happy right now. We'll see if we change it later. As, as I say, the cement gives you some time. Uh, make sure that um, whatever you put in, in the waste is just in the right position. We don't want the uh, piece of plastic card to show. And we want to be hiding in the, behind the sword. So we're trying to put the sword in, in the best possible um, looking also in how the pose of the model, the movement of the legs um, is going to play with, um, with the sword. It's looking good so far. I'm very happy. And um, as you guys can see, uh, right now we are going to start adding some of the um, um, other accessories. I decided to put a um, side arm in this side of the body. You can do it in the other side too. It all depends uh, how you want the model to look. But I decided that, that this place is good. I'm going to put some glue to soften the, uh, the, uh, the goo from the previous uh, video, part two, as I say. And on top of it, I'm going to put some goo. Some goo. Make sure the goo is not too thick. Um, in this case, you want the goo to be a little bit, a little bit liquid. And um. We're gonna just um, add the uh, the small piece of um, uh, sprue um, from the tube. Cut a little bit of uh, a piece of the tube. It's kind of like a oval shape. You can see that small piece that I just put, so it can fit and fill a hole that it has over there. And on top, I'm putting um, some glue to make sure that. Uh, it really bonds with the goo that we're gonna we're gonna put on top like I'm doing right now. I'm putting some goo right now, and now comes the um, the side arm for the Space Marine. Let me see. Make sure, uh, of course, as I say, that uh, it is well attached, and uh, you have some time to play with. Uh, it's not like uh, um, a super glue. Uh, in this case, you have some time. We have some time to to work and make sure that. It is uh, located in in the, in the right place, and uh, you can play it. The knife is a good tool for this kind of stuff, so you don't use your fingers too much. And um, I'm gonna put in this case a little bit of goo behind the the um, 
the pistol, uh, the holster, because uh, it's gonna act like a bonding. It's gonna bond the the back of the 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 weapon of the pistol with the with the side part of the body. And that way it makes it more resilient, more resistant, and it bonds everything. And uh, now I'm gonna uh, put some glue on top of the waist and that middle part that we added uh, last time and this is where the pouches are gonna go the pouches i have done custom made pouches i'm gonna make a tutorial about how to make this uh, accessories and the, the, the what i like sometimes about making my own pouches is that sometimes i want them to fit a little bit up and sometimes with the pouches that uh, come in the kit sometimes you cannot do that sometimes but sometimes you can't so i like to make sometimes my own uh, my own pouches and sometimes i mix i use pouches that are from the kit and pouches that i make myself if you see some of my videos you're gonna see both pouch, uh, pouches and accessories that i, I use um, i'm gonna put a grenade between the sword and the holster and the gun i'm gonna put um, a grenade and that is gonna fit right there and it also is going to help us to to hide that part and to make the model more interesting i like models that has uh, accessories and um, i really don't like when uh, models don't just uh, they don't have the accessories around them um, i like to put the uh, war gear uh, my opinion the model looks more elegant that's the way i see it and this is the way the model is looking right now let me see and the other side we have one pouch and now you have to decide what do you want to uh, put in the model. I mean, you can put some uh, chain sword. Uh, you can put in more pouches. Uh, you can put an extra pistol if you want, or some other kind of weapon, a knife. But uh, in this case, I decided to go for another pouch, and I'm gonna put another pouch. Pouches also, I like to make them in, in different sizes. I like to uh, think about that. This, this is where the Space Marine uh, 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 stores uh, a lot of his gear. And like I say, they help uh, to um, to wrap everything to give the model uh, a better look, in my opinion. Um, see, yes, it's looking good. I think uh, it is correct. There you go. They're gonna look a lot better when they're painted. Uh, right now, they look a little bit awkward because they are not painted. And that is the way the model is looking right now. Let me turn around, see what else can we do. And I have some space uh, in the other arm. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some um, uh, magazines and some uh, ammo on the side. And I decided for this one, this was our come from the, from the Mark III um, um, plastic kit. Same thing, I'm gonna repeat the same thing over here. Make sure you put the goo in a very calculate uh, amount. Don't, don't go crazy on it, don't cover any detail. Um, if you wanna see how I use uh, this goo, I go to my previous uh, video that I have. I will put it in the description too, and uh, how I use this, uh, this goo. Uh, make sure you only use a little bit and we also put in this case a little bit of sprue from a tube. I like these two parts because they're kind of round and they fit very well in the shape of the hip in the marine part of the hip. And um, I'm gonna add right now a little bit of goo. Same thing we did with the pouches. And um, now I'm gonna be adding the uh, the ammo magazines of the Space Marine. And it looks better, uh, as I say, you know, I really enjoy to, to see fully equipped um, models. They look nice. Um, I think they look more elegant, they look more realistic. And then that is the way it is looking right now. <clears throat> um, the uh, the shoulder pads are not attached right now, and uh, I'm gonna show you why. Um, I attached the arms, but uh, in one of the arms, as you can as you can see, I was uh, forced to cut a little bit of the upper part of the shoulder. 
um, just because I wanted to give the, um, the weapon a different pose. So I cut it a little bit and I'm gonna seal right now. I'm gonna seal to make the arm uh, better attached to the, uh, to, to the torso. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'm gonna put some more goo right there in a very controlled way, very, just use the tip of the, uh, of the brush to put a little bit of goo. Don't go crazy because sometimes it can spill and, and go into the parts of the model that you don't want the goo to go. And um, make sure that it is a very controlled application of the goo. And now I'm going to uh, put some uh, cement, Tamiya plastic cement, and make sure that um, it touches uh, the uh, plastic. And on top, I will put some goo. Now this is gonna be a very strong, it's gonna give me a very strong bond uh, with the uh, shoulder pads. And I also um, place, if you notice, I have placed the arm a little bit up, upwards uh, of the model. And this is because I'm gonna add one millimeter to the neck of the Space Marine. This is gonna help also with the true scaling and uh, give him a more accurate um, look. Um, just press, make sure it's well attached. And now the um, shoulder pads are completely attached to the Space Marine. This is the way how it looks with a complete Space Marine. The one on the right, on my right, was done in the same exactly way. And um, the head, I'm going to decide how the head is going to go later. I haven't decided if it's going to be looking to the, to the right or it's going to be looking to, towards the left. Um, if you want to support us, guys, uh, we have our Patreon. Uh, you can um, support the channel so we can make more tutorials and we do more... Uh, um, models um, like this one hopefully you like it I'm gonna uh, put another um, video where the model is uh, finished I'm gonna base the model coat the model and dry brush and attach finally the head in the final position that I that I decided to subscribe to the channel guys um, I will see you in the next video bye bye